Hi everyone, now in this session we will uh, try to derive an equation for equivalent EMF when cells are connected in parallel. Now uh, I will consider two cells, okay, this is one cell here, this is another cell. These two cells are connected in parallel. I name this point as point A. I name this point as point uh, C. Let this be point B1. Let this be point B2. Let this be a cell of EMF E1 and internal resistance R1. EMF of the second cell is E2 and its internal resistance is R2. I is the amount of current flowing the circuit. Here in the upper branch say the current is I1. The lower branch current is I2. And here again the current will be I. Now what we wish to do, we want to replace these two cells by a single cell by a single cell of EMF E equivalent and internal resistance R equivalent. This is point A here, this is point C here and the I amount of current is flowing in it. Okay. Now in parallel combination what we need to observe, in parallel combination Potential difference is same. Okay, potential difference is same. So what then? What then? What we have to write equation for i i one and i two. Now first, what we'll do? We'll see what is the potential difference across e one. Okay, potential difference, potential difference across e one. Potential difference across e one is okay. If I use the relation between V, E, I and R. V is equal to E minus I R. What will happen? Potential difference across E1, I call it as V, okay, V is equal to E1 minus I1 R1 minus I1 R1. Similarly, since do, these two cells are in parallel, potential difference across E1 is equal to potential difference across E2. So then what is the potential difference across E2? Potential difference across potential difference across E2 is equal to V is equal to E2 minus I2 R2. E2 minus I2 R2. Now what we'll do? We will write an equation for I1 and I2. Now if you look at this equation, okay, if you simplify this equation, what happens? You bring I1, R1 here, LHS. I1, R1 will become equal to E1 minus V. I1 will be equal to E1 minus V divided by R1. I'll write, I'll write. Therefore, I1 is equal to E1 minus V, E1 minus V divided by R1. Similarly, I2 will be equal to, I2 will be equal to, E2 minus V divided by R2. So what happens here? I2 R2 comes here. I2 R2 will be equal to E2 minus V. So I2 will be equal to E2 minus V divided by R2. Now if you observe here, okay, in this junction, I is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, we will use that. Okay, we know that. We know that. I is equal to I1 plus I2. Okay, now I is equal to, what is uh, I1? I1 is equal to E1 minus V divided by R1. Okay, E1 minus V divided by R1 plus I2 means what? E2 minus V divided by R2. Now, while doing, doing this, we have to uh, remember one thing that at the end, our final equation should be in the form V is equal to E equivalent plus I into R equivalent. Okay, whatever comes in this place will be R equivalent. Whatever comes in this place will be E equivalent. Okay. Now what we have to do, we have to write this equation in that form. So for that, we need to do some simplification. We'll do, okay, we'll write I is equal to E1 by R1 minus V by R1 okay plus E2 by R2 E2 by R2 minus V by R2 
now what can do what can be done i is equal to yeah e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 v is common what i'll do minus v into 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 let me do a little simplification here i will be equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 r2 minus v into r1 plus r2 divided by r1 r2 taking lcm okay now take this v to the lhs because i need an equation in the form of v is equal to e minus i yeah? so what happens v into r1 plus r2 divided by r1 r2 is equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 r2 minus i now what we'll do i need v here okay so therefore what we'll do i'll multiply entire equation with the term with the term r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 now what happens if i multiply entire equation with this term what happens it will give you this and this gets cancelled v is equal to okay r1 and r1 r2 r1 r2 gets cancelled okay e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 minus i into r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 now this equation is in the form of v is equal to e equivalent minus i into i into r equivalent okay so therefore e equivalent means this r equivalent means this so therefore i can write e equivalent is equal to e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 and uh, r equivalent r equivalent is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 now this is like uh, resistors are connected in parallel 1 by r is equal to 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 if you simplify r equivalent will be equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 okay so this is the equation for e equivalent and r equivalent or in general in general what you can remember e equivalent divided by r equivalent is equal to e1 by r1 plus e2 by r2 and 1 by r equivalent 1 by r equivalent is equal to 1 by r1 plus 1 by r2 if you have you know n uh, inter, uh, cells you can do like this 1 by rn so if you have n cells you can do this en divided by rn but the derivation will be over here okay this is the last step equivalent means e1 r2 plus e2 r1 divided by r1 plus r2 r equivalent is equal to r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 hope you understood the derivation thank you very much